Easter eggs and mystery aside, what does Midnight's really mean? Well, Taylor Swift shares that with us through these track reveals. It's a concept album, and the main question is what keeps you up at night? So it's, you know, you could be up at night because you're reeling from just having met someone and you're falling for them, or you could be plotting revenge. You could be, uh, garlic, you garlic could garlic. Bread. <laughs> yeah, you could be thinking about the time that they, they painted your teeth brown to be any kind of name. Um, you could be, you could be thinking about what could have been, you know, there's just so many yeah. possibilities. If you give that, like, if you think of that as like a creative writing prompt, which is what I did, that's where the album came from. Lavender Haze is track one on Midnight's, and I happened upon the phrase Lavender Haze when I was watching Mad Men. And I looked it up because I thought it sounded cool. And it turns out that it's a common phrase used in the 50s where they would just describe being in love. Like if you were in the lavender haze, then that meant that you were in that all encompassing love glow. And I thought that was really beautiful. And um, I guess theoretically when you're in the lavender haze, you'll do anything to stay there um, and not let people bring you down off of that cloud um and i think a lot of people have to deal with this now not just like quote unquote public figures because we live in the era of social media and if the world finds out that you're in love with somebody they're gonna weigh in on it um like my relationship for six years we've had to dodge weird rumors tabloid stuff and we just ignore it um and so this song is sort of about the act of ignoring that stuff to protect to protect the real stuff Track three, Antihero, is one of my favorite songs um, I've ever written. I really don't think I've delved this far into my insecurities in this detail before. Um, you know, I struggle a lot with the idea that, you know, my life has become unmanageably um, sized and that I, you know, not to sound too dark, but like I just struggle with the idea of like not feeling like a person. Um, <laughs> like don't feel bad for me you don't need to but you know this song really is a is a real guided tour throughout all the you know things i tend to hate about myself we all hate things about ourselves and um and it's all of those aspects of the things we dislike and like about ourselves that we have to come to terms with if we're gonna like be this person so uh yeah i like antihero a lot because i think it's really honest snow on the beach featuring Lana Del Rey is track four on Midnight's and I cannot get through that sentence without grinning because I am such a massive fan of Lana Del Rey. More on that later. Snow on the Beach, the song is about falling in love with someone at the same time as they're falling in love with you, sort of in this sort of cataclysmic, faded moment where you realize someone feels exactly the same way that you feel at the same moment. And you're kind of looking around going like, wait, is this real? Is this, is this a dream? Is, it, is this for real? Is this happening? Is it really happening? Um, kind of like it would be if you were to see snow falling on a beach. Um, and Lana Del Rey, in my opinion, is one of the best musical artists ever. Um, the fact that I get to exist at the same time as her is an honor and a privilege. And the fact that she would be so generous as to collaborate with us on this song is something I'm gonna be grateful for, for life. Absolutely love her. Song Bejeweled is a song that I think is really about finding confidence when you feel that it's been taken away for whatever reason. You know, you're feeling insecure, you're feeling taken for granted. One of the things we love to do at night is we love to go dancing, we love to put on an outfit that makes us feel good, and we love to feel like we're still bejeweled. And I think that there are tiny inflections of me hyping myself up to return to pop music after spending these glorious years writing folk songs and being in this metaphorical forest that I've created, which I've loved so much. But there, there was like a bit of pumping myself back up to be like, you can do it, you're still bejeweled. Like, I'm still bejeweled, question mark? Uh, we'll see. Mastermind is a song that I put last on the album because I'm really proud of it. And I love that when we were making the song, we wanted the verse to sound like romance and sort of heroes type of soundtrack. And then we wanted the chorus to sound like a villain has just entered the room. And 
the idea that you're flipping this narrative and you have been planning and plotting things and making them look like an accident. And I think that that's sort of an inside joke between me and my fans that I tend to do that. And so this song is the romantic version of that.